Hello, Namaskar and Adab to all my friends from your friend Astrologer and Guide Irfan once more with you from your very own channel Astro Assurance. We have been talking about the placement of planets in the D9 chart in your Navamsa chart and so far we have already covered about 5 to 6 different planetary placements in the D9 chart. One important thing about the D9 chart is this is this has more karmic manifestations, karmic denotations and hence it is very important to look at the deeper meaning of planets rather than at the superficial level. The other thing is to imp other important thing is to be able to link the placement of planets in the D9 chart with reference to their placement in the D1 chart. If you are not doing that, if you are looking at the D9 placement in isolation then it's a wrong manifestation, it is a wrong meaning that we are deriving out of it. So let's jump into and understand the placement of the planet Mercury in the 12 houses in the D9 chart linking it with Mercury's placement in the D1 chart. Now when Mercury goes into the first house in the D9 chart, this individual is a very highly analytical person, a highly professional person, somebody who has the presence of mind, is very witty, knows what to speak and when to speak. Such a person's whole life is based on practicality, logical decision maker. However, this person will also have a childlike enthusiasm, will be very jovial and if there is any conjunction which gets together with Mercury, then this can also bring in a deeper manifestation of Mercury with respect to how logically the person may present his life. This is also person in most attributes of his life, he will be very logical in their approach. So generally people will, when they look at this, such a person will also look at this person as somebody who is very practical, who is very reasonable and doesn't let the emotions get the better of him or her. Now when you look at the Mercury placement in the D1 chart, then we get a deeper manifestation, a clearer linking between the two placements. So if Mercury for example is in the first house, in your D1 chart, in your Lagna chart, this is a very practical person, a very analytical person, extremely intelligent person and will be known for practical decisions in life because now both in the Lagna chart as well as in the D9 chart, Mercury has gone into the Lagna into the first house. Such a person may also be approached by other people for sound advice and uh, as a sounding board to know whether their decision making is right or wrong. When Mercury goes into the second house in the D9 chart, such a person is very practical about his or her earnings, his or her livelihood and is very concerned about their financial security. Here it is not about making money or about riches. Here it is about financial security more than anything else. Such a person will hardly splurge on things, especially very expensive things and when they splurge money or spend money, it will be a very practical approach. Usually for high-end investments, only when their money will go or maybe say for example buying a car or maximum going on a holiday. Otherwise on a day-to-day -day basis, these, they, these people have a very logical approach to their savings, to their remuneration. And such a person is very witty, very jovial and the, in the family, in the tribe, they are known as somebody who is very intelligent and somebody who the family can also look up to. The, even the extended family will be interested in your growth trajectory and will know you as somebody who is very well spoken. Such a person may not speak often or speak much but when they speak, they will make sense. Such a person may also know a lot of different languages or may learn languages quickly if he or she puts the effort into it. These people may also be known for their sharp humor and suddenly cracking practical jokes and through that sometimes also cracking people up. Now how do you, if you, now this is how you connect the placement of the Mercury in the second house to the D1 chart, it will give you a more clearer manifestation. If Mercury in the Lagna chart, in the D1 chart goes into the third house, such a person is very very objective, very practical. However, in communication, this person is very very clear that if at all I don't make sense, if at all I don't need to talk, I will not talk. So this is a very thinking person thinks before the person talks. Very measured on speaking, very thoughtful about the self-image, how they will be construed by others, can be extremely good writers, good bloggers, good editors, good teachers, consultants, extremely good and connecting with people through social media, through other forms of media and even the print media. 
when mercury goes into the third house in the d9 chart this is a very smart working person rather than a hard working person this is a person who knows that only hard or working hard will not give you the right remuneration or right output of your labor the fruits of your labor so these people will use the intellects to get ahead rather than depending on the emotion the emotional energy will be less but the practical energy the logical energy will be very high so these people have a very practical approach to work and very tight very high in energy and usually even the decision makings when you look deeper you will not see many emotional tinges to it they know when to play their cards and so usually they will keep their cards close to their chest they can keep good secrets very creative very good artists they can be good dancers and they will have a very technical mindset these are very good at influencing others and able to get people to be convinced by their ability to speak ability to influence others also will be very complete in their approach and how they come across to others rather than being flimsy in their approach very very perfectionist approach very complete now when you look at d1's placement in the d9 chart with reference to the d1 chart and if in the d1 chart in the lagna chart mercury is in the 8th house this person is very insightful very research oriented will look at life decision through some of the ups and downs they have faced in life can be very very investigative oriented and can be very curious can be seen as a bit nosy by others if it becomes if they become too investigative can do very well in financial management especially other people's money have a deep interest in the occult and other mystical areas also very good writers in paranormal in fictional writing very good researchers can write good research papers and can also be good bloggers now when mercury goes into the fourth house in the d9 chart this is a very practical person a no nonsense approach person especially to the domestic life especially to the family life very logical will not allow emotions to get the better of them in the domestic responsibilities may even have high educational degrees or number of certifications showing their adeptness in a certain area of technical excellence these people may use their education their experience and logic to make the their home a better home can manage home much better than a number of other zodiac signs if they put their heart and mind to it even through some of the most tough domestic issues problems these people will keep a smile on their lips will keep the humor intact and will be witty but still quick to take decisions and less emotional but more practical decisions now when you connect this mercury in the 4th house in the d9 chart to the mercury's placement in the d1 chart same mercury is in the 7th house in the d1 chart in your lagna chart this person has a very logical approach to partnerships to relationship will be very balanced in their relationship may be a bit complaining from time to time or even critical at times but only so that the relationship can be made better can be managed better and in fact be stronger will not mind taking constructive criticism if the partner gives this kind of a criticism and will work hard to work on it has a more logical less emotional approach to relationship and this keep the relationship more stable even through some tough times will be very humorous witty but will also have a childlike enthusiasm and will be able to put the point across in that through the wit through the humor but this person can also be more serious if saturn gets involved in the mix and saturn influences this person to become to be more serious rather than be on the lighter height height rather than on the lighter side of life though very practical still very very logical in the approach when mercury goes into the fifth house in your d9 chart this is a highly creative person extremely enthusiastic and also fun loving enthusiasm in love in romance in their hobbies if the person gets time will cultivate some hobby some interest or some artistic ability because of which they may be very good at it having cultivated it over a period of time high level of interest in books high level interest in knowledge in reading or information of interest in general so these people will be knowing a variety of areas of the world and will be very knowledgeable in their own interest of work they will be able to speak at length they will be really somebody who has a lot lot of expertise and in depth analysis in depth hold on the subject that they love 
these people can be very good media people artists actors performers of very high order and also very good at financial management very good at speculative investments also especially if gain making houses of second and 11th house also support them these people generally will go through some ups and downs and romantic lures or romantic interests from time to time and only with experience over a period of time having gone through the or savored the bitter pill then they learn how they need to be more practically in their approach to love to romance rather than flung themselves into those challenges areas because of which they may be left heartbroken now connect this mercury to its placement in the d1 chart if in the d1 chart mercury is in the second house this is a person who can convert their hobbies into a source of, into a source of earning or has capabilities at least by the zodiac given to be able to do so can be interested in the social media writing artistic ability in maths and science and if given an opportunity and support by the zodiac can be somebody who is very very good at technical abilities also mathematical ability also will be able to balance many tasks at one hand or one go even multitask two or three different unrelated areas also and can do much better than others in multitasking however one may choose to take up some area to completely focus at a time and to do it better than the others because this is a completion oriented person a perfectionist however this person will have a high integrity in money matters and very very practical to investment and will have a very logical approach to investment rather than a emotional approach to investments and savings when mercury is in the 6th house in your d9 chart this is a person who is very service or servitude oriented this has a this is a person who has healing abilities strong problem solving abilities very very enthusiastic about helping others supporting others through either problem solving or guiding them or even giving directions can be a good lawyer can be a good accountant can be a good tax professional can be a doctor can be in animal welfare can be in hospitality industry number of industries where service is important where serving is very important is very aware of what's going on behind the back especially if there are any malefic energies playing behind the back connected to work and if they get into it they these get people can be very vengeful so generally they are very forgiving can be very very plan at their work and usually they can get along with colleagues as long as colleagues don't if colleagues approach them for their problem solving now correct the mercury in the d9 placement with the connection to the placement in the d1 chart in the lagna chart if mercury is in the 11th house in your d1 chart this is the person who is a problem solver at a mass level this person can do very well in large organizations in it in finance customer service in hospitality industries this person will rise high in large organization through sheer sure hard work and as a reputation of exemplary service and as a no nonsense person as a very practical or approach oriented person can be very very incisive of others can also be seen in quality control is very good at networking and can be good in marketing and using social media to reach large audiences this is a very highly gifted public speaker and if puts his heart and soul into it can be very acclaimed speaker also when very very acclaimed media personality as well if the mercury goes into the 7th house in your d9 chart this is a highly practical approach to relationships person to partnerships to people in general will be less emotional in the approach and will be very measured and balanced will use humor experience their stories and measured language to reach across and convince and get their job done from others communication is the basis of their relationship and will work hard to establish a rapport with people can be scathing if they are rubbed the wrong way and can be very sarcastic too but will use humor and sarcasm to make their points can easily build be little others with just one word or a joke in an argument but will not forgive slights and will bring it upon the person at an appropriate person not the best of partners to have if you are messing with them but if you are dedicated and committed and you are approaching them with a friendship oriented relationship then these people can also be the best of sweet sweethearts to have in a relationship now connect the placement of mercury in the 7th house with this with this placement in the lagna chart such a person can be somebody who meets a spouse at an educational institute or at a religious event or at a workshop or even on travel is a very people oriented person very good at striking a chord with people across national and 
nationality and ethnicities and with their humor their wit their good communication ability and ability to use humane approach to people can be able to have good relationship across national boundaries we like to debate we like to communicate we like to discuss and enlarge their learning through these interaction will be known as very enthusiastic and helpful and may either get along very well with teachers or will be a menace to them coming up with with some of the most difficult questions to answer they these people will have a very questioning approach to religion but will be believing in humanity more than anything else their parents may have had a very tough time explaining to them different religious concepts or mythological stories but they still may have enjoyed the creativity in those stories if mercury is in the 8th house in your d9 chart this is a very practical approach to problem solving person true healer and as a problem solver in distress can be very logical in life challenges and problems maybe somebody who is a problem solver healer or guide or a consultant in alternate healing and even problem solving can be a technical enthusiast who is also good at troubleshooting at a it firm for example can be a tax person who is able to dig deep to be able to support others who need help in their taxation planning or to be able to f- help others to find out where the hidden moolah is with the hidden tax issues are a researcher past excellence will use the enthusiasm to get to the bottom of things to know more about the subject than many others in their fields can be an acclaimed guru in jupiter also support this mercury now connect this mercury to its placement in the d1 chart in the lagna chart say for example mercury goes into the fourth house in your lagna chart this is a problem solver and an analytical supporter at home is the first go to person in the family or even extended family even to cousins for example lends a sympathetic ear but will also guide family how to go about solving their challenges and will also put a strong point across if people are being misled or going in a different tangent these can be good writers good bloggers good artists working from their home or solving other people's challenges from a home office this can also be somebody who is an architect or an engineer designing homes for other people or an artist on social media working from home a truly gifted personality but a very home oriented personality who is more domesticated if i can use the term a true asset to the family if mercury is in the 9th house in the d9 chart this is a very learning oriented person this person learns from life's lessons and rather than move from academics this is a lesson teaching placement where zodiac is trying to teach a lesson to the person through their experiences with the zodiac will throw at this person from time to time and the lesson for this person the learning for the person is to be able to help others through their practical experiences as well as their qualification the academic qualifications such a person can get many degrees maybe even their masters maybe even their phd's but can able to also travel long distances away from home to home to learn can travel to meet different people to expand the experiences to learn more from those experiences okay we'll have a lot of fun stories we'll have a lot of anecdotes to share from the experiences from their travels can be a good teacher can be a good philosopher can be a good guru who reaches out to others to be able to solve their problems now connect this placement of the d9 placed mercury with the placement in the lagna chart in the d1 chart say for example mercury goes into the 12th house in your d1 chart this is a very highly spiritual energy as your mercury gets debilitated mind you in the 12th house in pisces so this is someone who has they have faced big challenges in life and learn the hard way and has become more spiritual as a consequence may use life's learnings experiences to become more creative and reach across to people with their creativity these people may also get weird dreams and sometimes even premonitions of something which is about to happen can do a lot of administrative or different problem solving uh, work even in foreign lands or abroad but may initially struggle before getting high success abroad if mercury is placed in the 10th house in your d9 chart this is a very highly enthusiastic worker very practical very logical very analytical approach to work is what the person brings to the table this person may be in finance in it in engineering architecture or even in the construction in the engine or in the construction industry this is a problem solver or an analyst at work 
will be used maximum by the supervisors by their authority figures and hence these people are the first people will be approached by supervisors at work to be able to put together presentation to be able to put together data to be able to slice through data to be able to make sense out of it and will be also used strategically by superiors or authority figures these people can be very incisive in team meetings and so and so sometimes may be very feared by the especially those people who rub them the wrong way but these people also can sometimes rub authorities the wrong way because of their sharp approach to work their analytical approach to work and sometimes their own growth is also hindered because of how fearsome they become to their supervisors to the authority figures usually it is not the best of placements for high career growth but if you if a person is able to avoid the politics at work and um, keep a very enthusiastic rapport oriented approach to super superiors then they can still have normal growth if not stupendous growth at work now connect the placement of the mercury in the 10th house in the d9 chart to its placement in your d1 chart in your lagna chart say mercury in your lagna chart goes into the second house this is a person who will use the ability to work hard and work smart to get their earnings to increase their bank balance this has a very smart approach person to making money will try and put at least some money into savings from time to time this person likes to invest and makes their money grow rather than working hard only on one tangent to be able to make more money but will work with values and will not resort to shortcuts this is a person if they get into shortcuts or try to make money through that then they will lose their self esteem and they will also lose their enthusiasm to work these people tend to quickly finish their work but then they find work up still waiting for them because they are seen as hard working these people may also be involved in the family business or connected to family work or there may be other people also from the family involved in their kind of work now if mercury is placed in your 11th house in your d9 chart this is a worker par excellence in large organizations with large masses a performer an artist or social worker someone who believes in a cause and chases it with all enthusiasm an artist who is also very revered by the masses a very technically competent person known for the expertise by many people someone who has strong work connections and uses them socially as well someone who socializes with industry profession professional and connects with them to learn more a public speaker maybe a stand up comedian but surely a very well known or well liked personality now connect the mercury in the 11th house to its placement in the d1 chart in the lagna chart see in the lagna chart mercury is placed in the 5th house this is a person who loves to connect with people like the social life and is very enthusiastic about it can be a world level performer a world level artist someone who makes a name in their area of interest and gets mass acclaims has many friends but will have very few close ones is socially conscientious and likes to help people someone who works at large organizations or for a cause with a lot of dedication practicality and with practical solution even if this person is introvert but at least like to hear stories which are emanating from other people and likes to socially connect with people even breaching their own inwardness so that they are able to connect with masses and to be able to help people now if mercury is in the 12th house in your d9 chart this is a very karmic placement as mercury gets debilitated in the 12th house especially in the sign of pisces so this is a highly karmic energy where using life's experiences one's approach to tough situations will be traversed through with difficulty but to be able to rise its rise in spirituality so life's tough challenges thrown at them will make them more spiritual will also make them question their purpose of life and why sometimes they could go through the challenges with the zodiac throws at them but still highly creative energy to be able to help others to support others and to dedicate their life to problem solve to serve and to heal these people may also serve in foreign lands but through ups and downs and challenges initially these people may use creativity to reach out to people and help people through their creative energy or through artists can even be very acclaimed actors across boundaries now connect the placement of the mercury in the 12th house in the d9 chart to its placement in your d1 chart in the lagna chart if mercury is in the third house of your d1 chart this shows that this is a person who may be able to communicate life challenges on social media through communication tools or as a teacher or even a guru this can be strong influencer who may be able to consult people or help people online 
or at least give them a patient ear and to give them solutions and solace will reach out to vast audiences with the creativity with their logical practical solution will get high following across national boundaries especially if moon or jupiter are strong can be a psychiatrist or a spiritual healer if ketu gets into the mix however sometimes if rahu gets into the mix such a person can also be very very clever clever very shrewd and can also hoodwink people online and hence such people especially if rahu is involved to aspect or conjunction have to be very very, very careful how they communicate how they present themselves to others so friends now that we have seen how mercury plays in the 12 houses in the d9 chart may behave how it will manifest what its denotations are look deeply and understand and connect your mercury in your d9 chart to its placement in the d1 chart to be able to understand it better to and to be able to use the practical the result oriented the logical approach and the intellectual of approach of mercury to be able to solve challenges in your life and to be able to use the logical reasoning of life of mercury to be able to do better in life so friends like this video share this video and if you're looking for a personal consultation for me please reach out to me the links given below until some other time in some other video this is your friend astrology and guide your friend signing off